everybody, so we've been working on our feather turbine, and here's the wheel without the feathers, and of course it sits on that generator section there, like that. Now, there's been some brilliant suggestions, so you can guarantee there's going to be some upcoming videos on improvements with this, where people have been sending improvements in, and I've taken those improvements up. But, the generator itself sits like this, and it's meant to spin, and if I do that, see that? You can both see it and hear it. It doesn't spin, and it's got too much friction, and that is a problem. Now, I was playing around with something, and I wanted to share it with you, because I thought it was super simple, super easy, and a way to get a bearing. Now, I've put this fan onto um, a CD case, and if I put a bit of wind on that, absolutely nothing at all, which is no real surprise, because the friction's so high on something like that. However, we make this, something quite surprising happens. So I've put that disc between the fan and the CD case. Give it a bit of wind. <laughs> you notice if I took the hairdryer away, it continued to spin. So that piece of plastic acts like a pretty good bearing. I mean, that's fairly low friction. This is held in place by the ridges here, so there is friction, but it continues to spend for a considerable amount of time. So what is that? It's a bit of HDPE. It's a bit of high density polyethylene. High density polyethylene is all over the place. It's what your food banks come in, it's what document wallets come in, it's what damp proof course is made out of. So to make that, all you really need to do is find yourself a document wallet, cut around it, and you'll cut out a circle. Once you've cut out a circle, you need to punch out the center and then find a bit of glass. So I've got this circle on a bit of glass. Punched out the centre with a centre punch, although I suppose you could do it with a knife. And what I've got is a bit of graphite and piece of <laughs> tissue. It really is ridiculously easy. So dab some graphite into your tissue, and you don't need a huge amount, and then just rub it on the surface of the polyethylene. And what will happen is that the graphite will stick to the polyethylene. It actually embeds itself and forms an electrostatic surface and it'll go shiny. You'll be able to get this kind of metallic look to it. Now the harder you rub that, the more metallic it will get until it's kind of like got a silver colour. And if you keep on doing that, eventually you'll get it to a stage where it's a bright silver and none will come off on your finger because the graphite is now stuck into the surface of the polyethylene. We do that on both sides. When you've done that, back to your CD case. Now I put a CD in the bottom to lift it off from the bump that was in there. There's my bit of graphite coated high density polyethylene. I put another CD on the bottom here so that we don't have any bumps on there either. And now we can drop that onto there. And the sources of friction are the retaining edge and the retaining spindle. Now, Beast now has got the two graphite coated high density polyethylene in. We turn on our hairdryer. <laughs> That's actually quite impressive. Now, the thing is, it's a super simple method for making bearings for prototypes, okay? I don't know how long that would last in the long term, uh, but certainly prototype making and making models and making machines that work so you can test your ideas, it's a piece of cake to grab a bit of high-density polyethylene from a plastic bag, rub it out the side of the graphite, and you have yourself a really low friction bearing Make so there's our bit of graphite coated HDP in the right size. It goes on there like that, that goes back on there like that. And now... <laughs> spins much more freely. So useful for more than just this, obviously. And some exciting bits and pieces coming up. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. And please do remember to like and subscribe.